we have just compared TCPIP and OSI models. And sometimes OSI model is presented as five layers model, and network access layer is split to data link and physical layers. And to this diagram, let me show you this version, five layer version of the TCPIP model, and using this model, explain you what is data encapsulation. Data encapsulation is process of formatting data, and this process adds some additional overhead on each layer. And this overhead is called header. For example, let's say that there is some data that is ready to be transmitted on application layer. For example, let's say we have composed email and this email is ready to be sent to other devices, to, for example, SMTP server. And this data goes to transport layer. And this transport layer adds its own overhead, own header. And this header is called here segment header, because segment, as you remember, is protocol data unit PDU for transport layer. Afterwards, this modified, let's say, expanded data goes to next network layer. And next layer adds to existing data with segment header one more header, packet header. Packet is PDU for network layer. Here is this packet header. Afterwards, data goes to data link layer, this one, and on the data link layer, we add one more header, frame header. Frame is PDU for data link layer. And finally, this data, along with all added headers, is transmitted over the physical media. And this data is represented using bits, zeros and ones. That is a process of encapsulation. And notice that uh, previous data and previous headers are not modified when data goes from upper layer to lower layer. It means that transport layer under no means modify this data that it has received from application layer. Same applies to network layer. It does not modify data and does not modify segment header. It simply adds its own header, packet header. Same applies to data link layer. It does not modify data segment header or packet header. It adds frame header and it also adds frame trailer that contains checksum of the frame and is used for error detection and uh, if this checksum does not match on recipient side, then such frame is simply discarded. And finally again, data is transmitted in bits and physical layer does not care at all which data it sends. It simply gets some data from data link layer, performs encoding, and sends encoded data over the physical media. That's it. This process is called encapsulation. And again, main idea here is that layers are independent from each other, and each layer adds its own information to existing information received from upper layers. And now let's discuss how this process actually is performed on opposite side. On opposite side, this process is called decapsulation. And when data is received on physical layer on recipient, it goes to upper layer, data link layer, and data link layer reads only frame header and frame trailer. It does not look into inner headers, packet header or segment header or data. It reads only data that was added at data link layer at the sender, frame header and frame trailer. Afterwards, after processing of the frame on the data link layer on recipient, it goes to network layer, but now without frame header and frame trailer. They are stripped. Network layer reads packet header that was added by network layer of this sender. It removes it and afterwards sends data to transport layer. Transport layer reads segment header that was added by transport layer here on the sender and afterwards data goes to application. So process is opposite to encapsulation. Sender performs encapsulation and sends data via any physical media and recipient 
performs decapsulation. Great. Using such approach, we could combine different protocols on different layers of the model. And we could send different data over different medias. We could use different protocols on the network layer. We could use different physical layer technologies and so on. Application layer doesn't care about that at all. This application, in my case Google Chrome, does not know which technologies I use on data link or physical layers. That is not its responsibility. Its responsibility is prepare some data and simply send it to lower layers. That's it. Great. So, short summary. Encapsulation is process of adding some additional data on each layer of the model. And afterwards, decapsulation is performed on recipient in opposite way until data is received by application layer on recipient. Great, that's all what I wanted to tell you about TCPAP and OSI models. Now let's proceed and next let's talk about data link layer and specifically Ethernet protocol and discuss what is MAC address and how MAC addresses are used for transmission of data on data link layer. I'll see you next.